We are live. Excellent. Good evening. Oh, Isaiah is here. First off the bat, good evening. This is Fan Nation Army Wolverines edition, bringing you a preview of the upcoming season. Well, really, the upcoming season opener against Hawaii Team 137 season opener. I'm your host, Mikey P. And uh, Diva is behind the scenes with us today, producing for this broadcast, because I am here with a very special guest, four-year letterman, and former defensive tackle for Michigan, Mr. Jabril Black. This is him right here. He's happy to see you guys. And he's... Wait, who's that? Hey! hey! You don't need the picture. You got the real thing. The real deal, Mr. Jabril Black. We have microphones and we everything for let's him. Let's mic up. There, let's mic him up. What happened? You look small next time. <laughs> you look small. Um. Well, I, 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 I was a four-year Letterman kicker. No, not even, not even that. Weight room alert. <laughs> Weight room alert. Uh, we want to welcome all you live viewers, and we thank all you replay viewers who will be watching live in the future. Now, we will be live. FNA Wolverines will be live on Saturday. Yes. During the Hawaii game. Yes. Drill and I will be co-hosting during the TV timeouts, giving you all the commentary, answering your questions, answering your comments, and providing all the expert analysis you've come to expect from FNA Wolverines. Uh, Jabril, you graduated from Michigan, yes. greatest university in the world, and I hear you've been quite the philanthropist over the summer. Why don't you tell us about what you've been you doing? You heard correctly. I heard. Uh, you know, the last three months, I've been on a 38 city, 25 38. states, over 12,000 miles. Fantastic. On a huge tour bus. This is, this is Prince style tour bus. You're talking about epic tour bus. Uh, with U.S. Bank, all in the name of volunteering and oh, giving right. back to the community. Excellent. That's. I mean, that I mean, it's like, just. I mean, what what else do you want? How, how can you beat that? You know, what it's, else do you want? What else? You, this that's fantastic. So, thirty eight cities all over the place. You were just giving back to the community. Giving back. That's fantastic. Amazing. And, um, the Michigan brain, the world class athlete. Yes. You yes. know the handsome smile and charitable to boot. And of course, I'm talking about myself, but Jabril <laughs> is going to give me a run for the money, fans. Yeah, but we're, we're going up against a dastardly rival, bitter rival in Hawaii, the Hawaii Rainbows. I don't know how much <laughs> of a rivalry <laughs> no, not, not you so have much. with a team called the Rainbows. Not I mean, so much. You know, I'll be hoping for a pot of gold with every sack. There you go. That's what I, right? That I would mean, be fantastic. You know, you hit the quarterback, you pot of gold. Does that distract the team if gold it comes out of the quarterback? <laughs> You when know, they hit him. You know, it might be motivation, you know? It, it, it might be. I see it as motivation. It might be NCAA ineligibility. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> couple couple <laughs> saints. I know they opened their season against uh, Cal in Australia. Sorry, Mish. Buster, you missed us a couple weeks. You're back. That's Come okay, on, Buster. Buster, Stay Buster we got Jabril here now. You can't miss anymore. What's up, Buster? Uh, uh, Michigan's a 40-point favorite or so Yeah. Uh, for all you degenerate betting types yeah. online. I've never done anything like that. No. Uh, now... I'm going to show you why Hawaii has no chance <laughs> whatsoever to win this, this game. This is, the, this is the Michigan difference, the maths. He's got the maths. He's analyzed this. So the last two games we played Hawaii. We'll get to quarterback later. But thank you. Keep Our that question, Joshua. Our series with Hawaii is 2-zip. Offer it. We've, we've beaten Hawaii twice so far. And We're on a winning streak. Out of one of those wins, Jim Harbaugh was the quarterback. So he Jim won. already beat Hawaii. Jim already beat Hawaii once. Before. So we're going to get number two, we hope. Now, against ranked teams, they're 10 and 40. 10 and 40. They have no chance. That, that's, a, uh, that's a bad record, right? That is terrible. That's not good. I, I'm, I'm I, asking the question, really. Against Big Ten, they're 9 and 23. That doesn't sound they're any not better. Going, they're not going to win. I don't think that sounds better. All Ten time versus top 10 teams. Yes. Michigan is... Ranked number seven. We're number seven. That's a top ten team. I know that math. Three and fifteen. Three okay. and fifteen. So, so I think Michigan you know. Nation. If you want to get technical with it, what we have to do to secure the win, you know, we need to get establish the run game. Run game. Uh, run game first. Davion needs to run that ball hard. He's. We would. I think will. that would be a good thing. Offensive line needs to get in the groove. There we go. Groove. You know, get us running up. Groove an offensive line. Establish the line of scrimmage. That, established scrimmage. That is the thing we need to do. Now defense is going to be a scary, <laughs> it's going to be a scary sight. We might actually 
Hit him so hard, pots of gold. Might <laughs> pots of gold, Mike. Pots of gold might be flowing. Well, that's all over the field. Hawaii quarterback Ikeika Woolsey. Uh, he's got more career interceptions than touchdown passes. I hear, but twenty-three uh, interceptions, nineteen touchdown passes, respectively. Uh, Woolsey had a solid game against Cal. I think it was, uh, despite the loss, seventeen of thirty-four, two hundred thirty-four yards, one touchdown, one interception, but. Jabril, you're, this is your area. The Michigan defense, one of the best you in the country. You know, this defensive line is spectacular. Spectacular. Incredible. Incredible. Magnificent. Magnificent. Stupendous. They sound, that sounds like good words. <laughs> I mean, that's the word to describe every lad. I mean, you got Wormley, you got Glasgow, you got Rashad Gary. Oh, that guy's going to be Maurice Hurst. We're looking to seeing him. I mean, these guys are loaded, and then once they get tired, you got another wave of spectacular. Another wave. Incredible. Incredible. Coming behind them. Stupendous. And if, if the quarterback managed to get a pass off. Hey, Dory. I got two words for you. Jordan Lewis. Ooh. Those sound like scary words to a Sounds like an All-American. Sounds like an All-American. Then those I got, are two All-American words. Just Then like I got another American. kid. I like to call him my little brother. Uh-oh. This is your little brother. Jabril Peppers. Jabril Peppers. We say the same name. so Really? You know. Do you pronounce it the same? We do. Okay. We do. Spelling's different. Just little peppers, you know. Just okay, little, little peppers. Little peppers. Little peppers. So, I, I think that's going to shut it down. Yeah, I uh, mean, if you get Jordan Lewis jumper routes early. That's, I'm kind of, I'm excited for these guys. No matter who the quarterback's going to be, it's going to be a little bit green because they haven't been a full-time starter. But they've been here over a year each. They've had a year in the system where Jake Rudock had less than a year. Right. He came in as a transfer, and it took right. him six months to get going. Do you think uh, these guys are going to get going early, or do you think they're going to need a few games? You know, um, from what I've been hearing, these guys have had an incredible camp. Camps have been going great for O'Corn, Spate. I we mean, will Morris. find out 12 o'clock Saturday. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, these guys have been having an incredible camp. I think they're ready. I you mean, you got a, a quarterback guru in Jim Harbaugh. We call him the quarterback, quarterback whisperer, whisperer the other day when we were talking. You know, he, he speaks these little things, these little gems in these quarterbacks' ear and, and makes them perform, you know, beyond what they could ever Pots imagine. of gold, gems in the ear. You know. This is going to be an expensive game. It's, it's going to be gonna up be, there. It's going to be expensive. So Cash I, money game. The boys are back. Boys. I have a buzzsaw shiznit. It's, buzzsaw shiznit. It, all the kids are using hey, it. Hey, Coach Sink. All the kids are using that term, by I the way. Think, I don't think <laughs> I think that's real. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just don't. Uh -huh. I've heard uh, it in the streets. And moving on, I think the offensive <laughs> line is real this year. We've got an offensive line that's uh, a lot of seniors, uh, and if they can continue where they left off, and the kids steeplechase. That Coach Saint's a, a football coach, and and he's got those kids, his kids term. running steeplechase. Um, We've uh, we got an offensive line that's gonna we think will open up some some big holes. Hundred yard rushing game for Debian Smith will definitely contribute to a, a rainbow's beatdown. So it could be Bredesen at left tackle. Look out for that. If if he doesn't start, he'll definitely get some some time there. I think. And that offensive line is gonna be fantastic. Tim Biakabatuka is honorary captain. Oh, that's a brilliant. I'll idea. tell you what. I'll tell you a story about him. Yeah, we used to watch the way he ran the ball against Ohio State. I mean, his whole career when he ran the ball against Ohio State was... 300 yards plus? Yeah, it was yeah. just, you know, incredible. Yes. Stupendous. Awesome. Stupendous. Amazing. Amazing. Why weren't you watching my game film? I mean, that is... If we you want to learn, kids, <laughs> from Coach Saint or my, my films. All righty, folks. Uh, prediction time. Let's say prediction time. I've got a final score prediction of 38 to 7. I just like I like those numbers, and I think that I mean three is a pretty number. Eight is kind of around seven. You can't go wrong. Uh, was said, no, cannot drop the ball against. LSU. We no cannot. We're gonna take it one game at a time. You know, twenty-one to three. Twenty-one three. A little bit low, uh, don't low. you? Think? Didn't you think? That's a low game. I got my prediction, forty-two zero. You think zero? Forty-five fifteen is getting close to yours. You know, I think. You know, last year we had three goose eggs. We did pitch three shots. Um, I think this defense is going to be better than it was last year. I, I absolutely believe that. So I think they're going to get a goose egg early, and the perfect team to do it against is the Rainbows. I think Whatever so. the score is. Oh, you got to hear this. Whatever. How many points? 350 the, yards on the ground. The Wolverine score. That's how many push-ups that I'm going to do. 
At the end of the game. At the end of the game. For every Wolverines win, Jabril will match the score, the number of points, Michigan points, with push-ups. So lather me I up. I think it's a fantastic a coconut oil, and we're going to get it. Does out. anybody want to see him do the same number of push-ups for the amount of rushing yards we get? Okay. <laughs> Make that like a weekly challenge. Can we? Uh... Maybe in the aggregate. Yes, they love it. Oh, they love it. Jump man, jump man, jump man. <laughs> You're going to be Jack. Jabril up in something. <laughs> Look, since this is opening week, players got to be kind of nervous. Do you have uh, any stories about describing like what it's like to go into the opening game? Yeah. Um, you know, going into the opening game, especially when you have a lot of true freshmen who are going to be playing, which Harbaugh said, you know, He's going to have a lot of true freshmen playing. Right. You know, I played as a true freshman, and I remember just being over excited. Tony, you know? we are getting the feels from all your hearts. Love the hearts. Oh, I see so many hearts. <laughs> the hearts are just like just going crazy. They're coming up right green. Now. Yeah, you, you're excited. You're ready to go, but no, nothing can compare you until you go through it. Prepare you for walking out to 115,000. Yeah. And it's just a wave of people as far as the eye can see. That tunnel, that tunnel walk has got to be fantastic. I mean, it's amazing. I'm, I, I mean, I mean, I remember my own. Of I course. mean, you just look <clears> up, <throat> just imagine, just a wave of people. I do look forward to uh, Jabril. I look forward to you and I broadcasting throughout the season. Yes. And Saturday, we'll be there uh, during the game, ten minutes before the game, and during every timeout because F and A is your timeout from the TV timeout. So check us out at. FNA Wolverines and on our Facebook FNA page. And we are Fan Nation Army. And go blue go to blue you guys. Forever. Forever. Chip said right. Bo Shimbeckler motivated the might. For so strong it's on Saturday nights. Howard Woodson Brady took it to heights. Let's ball.